I'm Coyote Peterson. Now this past week I got a great question from Hazik Zafran, and he wants to know, hey Coyote, can you still climb trees? Like a cat! Alright, welcome back Coyote Pack. You all did a phenomenal job this past week asking questions about the Pine Martin episode. Now one question that I want to answer that I thought was really unique came in from Connor Gray. And he asks, did you get more nervous climbing up the tree after the Pine Martin or more nervous when it was in your hands climbing back down? That is a phenomenal question, Connor. Because I'll tell you what, I was nervous. What was that? branch fell the tree. Okay, now as we all know, this Pine Martin was raised in captivity, so she was used to being around humans. When we let her go up into the tree, she was excited. She was exploring around all the branches and eventually went all the way up to the tippy top of the tree. As I started scaling up after her, I was carrying a drift camera. I looked up and I said to myself, oh man, there is no way I'm going to be able to get that high up. The higher I got, honestly kind of the more nervous I got because the branches were getting thinner and thinner. Now. Fortunately, she started to work her way back down towards me, and at that moment, we both kind of made contact. I think we formed a bond, and she trusted me. I think even she was a little nervous to be that high up in the tree. I gently took hold of her, scaled back down the tree, jumped to the ground, and then I was able to present the scene. Look at her. How beautiful is that little mucilid? Now the only time I was actually really nervous is when I had her in my hands and I was going back down. The trainers did warn me that she is capable of giving a pretty nasty little bite if she gets scared. So I made sure to just hold her gently, keep her calm, talk to her a little bit on the way down, and fortunately I escaped that encounter with no bites. Now I think we can all agree that the Pine Martin is probably the most adorable animal that we featured in the first season of Breaking Trail. So my last question here comes in from YOLO, and they ask, are Pine Martins so adorable so that things don't suspect them of being dangerous? That's a really interesting thought. Now I bet if you were a squirrel, you wouldn't think a Pine Martin is that adorable. And I can tell you this much, the Pine Martin is one of the most ferocious members of the weasel family. So I have to say, if you ever encounter one in the wild, don't try to catch it, don't approach it. Admire it from a safe distance. Remember, the one that I was working with was raised in captivity and she was used to being around humans. Thanks for all the great questions this past week, Coyote Pack. Keep them coming. Next week, if you ask a question about the crocodile conservation episode, I've got a pretty good feeling that it might get selected for a behind the adventure. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you next week. Stay in clumps for protection. Okay. Especially when they're just born like this, that makes it really easy for us to come and just snatch them. Gotcha. Baby crocodiles. Listen to them chirping.